So today we're going to make a bird feeder out of lolly sticks. And what you'll need is lolly sticks, glue, string, and scissors. And that's it. If you're feeling a little bit brave, you can go for a more elaborate design. But today we're just going to go basic. So to start off with, you need eight lolly sticks, line them, like nine lolly sticks, sorry, line them in a row to get a little fence shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more. Nine. And then with your glue, spread generously on the lolly stick. Oh, and you're gonna use that across lengthways to support the ones that you've just done. You can use a glue stick spreader if you prefer not to get your hands mucky, but you will get a little bit sticky doing this. So you'll end up with something that looks like that. I'll leave that one to dry and use this one. Next, to make it extra secure, because we want birds to be able to land on it, we're going to put a zigzag diagonal across. You can just spread the glue onto the main lolly sticks like, like that. And that makes it extra secure. Now we want the birds to be able to land on it, so we need a little perch. So go in the same way as your lolly sticks, from the middle. The middle stick, you, and the other side. We're going to make that perch like that, okay? So that's what it looks like. We can ignore this for now, but we will need that later on. Next we're going to start to build a frame. Some protection for our bed. So we're going to make a square. We don't need as much glue, just a dab on each side. Making sure that there's a little bit of overlay for support. You might have more glue than you need. This is uh, fine for now. And what you're going to do is you're going to keep building one on top of the other, so as we've done earlier, so let's make sure it's the right way. Put some glue. One, two, three, four. And you just want to build it up. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's going to be outside, so it's going to be a little bit rustic. Stick it down. You want to add maybe three or four more layers, because when you're putting the bird seed on, you want the bird seed to be secure. Don't want it to flap about in the wind. So opposites to opposites. It also makes a good photo frame if you want to use a photo frame. So that's done for now. You can see we've got quite a thick frame. It is going to be wet, so you're going to need to set it aside. And you'll have a frame that looks like this. So at this stage, it's sensible to add the string. So I've already done three. But you need quite a nice length. Tie it on the bottom of the side that you don't want. You might be better at knots than me, but a simple knot that you would do with your shoes would be fine. And then you can... Fasten them together in another knot so it makes sort of a tent shape or a pyramid. That's why you need it quite long because you need to dangle it from something. But you can decide that when you do it how much cube you want to have it. So I've done mine, but there you go. So now, leave it there. We've got our base but we need to make this secure for our dicky birds because we don't want it to fall off so all I want to do is using the one I made earlier I'm just going to glue it together like this so that the stick is secured so I'm just going to pop some glue along there like that and that supports your perch for your dicky bird so I'll put that to the side because it's still wet and then the last part, once you've done that, is to glue 
you top your frame using glue to the bottom and then leave it to dry and then pop your bird seed in hang it somewhere out in the garden and you'll have a nice little bird feeder the end